Today I'd like to cover boost management, and the three core moments where you want to use boost, neutralizing to close the distance, changing directions, and sustaining a turn rate. Let's start off with changing directions. The best times to actually use boost is once the pip is neutralized and you want to flank or get around the angle of the ship. So for example, if I were pushing on cam here and all of a sudden I neutralize and I hold him here and he starts to get his nose on me, I can then use a little bit of boost to push to the other side of the opponent. And again, you're doing this with stopping of momentum. So if I boost to the side, I wanna stop my ship from getting too far away from him. Because he's also traveling, I may not need to stop the movement, but rather flow with him. But this is something you'll pick up the more you do it and the more you practice it. Again, the general idea is neutralize before using the boost to get around to the other side of the opponent. This is so you can make these quick changes and angles with such speed that it is impossible for the other opponent to react to it. Before we get further into this tutorial, if a lot of this sounds strange or there's a lot of concepts that you're not really familiar with, make sure to check out my other videos as there's a lot of things that you need to learn to get to this state. Uh, in general, the main thing you need to learn is neutralization, as neutralizing is one of the key fundamentals to doing this kind of stuff. For example, if you can't stop the relative motion between the opponent and yourself, you'll always find yourself orbiting around like so. And if you're in these situations, it requires a lot of boost to stop your ship, neutralize, and get back on target. This is something we're trying to avoid, as I said prior. Using boost to neutralize is kind of a waste. You want to try to neutralize without the use of boost and save boost for those moments where you're close into the ship and you can tap it real quick to get over to the other side as needed. So let's take an illustration where Cam and I are fighting. As I'm approaching the target, I do the normal of maybe doing a little bit of a circle strafe, cutting the direction of the pip, neutralizing as I approach, but I'm never using boost in these scenarios. And the point is to neutralize, but also not take shots. So this is something you have to practice by using a little bit of what we call pip dancing, which is the act of moving the pip in a fashion that lets you get closer and closer little by little while maintaining and getting closer to the target. When I get close to him is when I get these states right, find a little bit of room to use that boost to flip over to the other side. Once I'm close, I don't need any boost. There's no point for it. Just stick close, look for an opening, and then when you find a nice little neutralized point, you can boost across and get over to the other side. Again here, be my inertia with him, and there I have a really nice flank. Cam, go ahead and do a really strong push away from me. So say I was trying to close the gap with Cam, and I'm not using boost, I'm just neutralizing here as in the other videos, and all I'm doing is trying to close the gap. If we're in these sustained rates where I'm pushing a lot of force, I can't boost because I'll add so much G-force tolerance to my character that I'll usually black out. And you can see it by doing it here. And you can see I'm boosting to neutralize that pip, but because of the speed and the distance, it's just not going to happen without a massive drain of my boost. Again, this is something you want to avoid. I'm gonna do the same, Cam, go ahead. But this time, no boost at all. I'm gonna focus on just getting closer to the target. And this can be done without the boost by understanding the pip and neutralizing and adjusting to get closer and closer. Now, if the opponent does not change directions, of course, shooting at them might get them to do so. And I might tap boost every once in a while. But as you can see, he's never really able to get far away from me. Once you get close enough, then you're in the aggression zone. And here you can do some damage, apply whatever you want, and then maybe start using that boost to get around and change directions on the opponent. In dogfighting, the main thing you want to primarily use is your boost when you're talking about Pyro Triangle. Um, shield is kind of something that used to be used a lot, but more and so, and with the new patch coming up, I think it's going to be used less and less because of the shield regen delay that's being added. Usually you don't have time to regen shield unless you're able to close the gap and stick close in the pocket like so, which allows you to kind of push and stay close and eventually get some regen. That said, you cannot hold those maneuvers and you cannot hold those attack patterns without boost. Usually in these turn fights, you're trying to remain on boost the whole time so you can always get some boost back unless it's not needed. If I ever need to reload my guns, that's when I swap to guns to get some energy back on them, and then as soon as they have energy, I go right back to boost. The secondary and main function of boost is to sustain an angle on the opponent. This is done by using boost to stay where you are. For example, let's say Ro and I were turn fighting here, and I'll try to get into an example but I'm trying to evade around him. All of a sudden I push to this angle. Here I can sustain with a little bit of boost and then once I have a nice position, if I hold boost and keep strafing, you'll see me hold this pattern and there's just nothing he can do to get out of it. Granted, this wastes a lot of boost, but it allows you to apply a lot of damage and then you can dictate if you want to get closer to the target again or push away from the target. The main other principle that we have is using boost to neutralize. 
Now I know prior I said not to really use it as it's kind of a waste, but there are certain times where it is helpful. For example, if we are in a turn fight and he is just off my side here, I can use boost just to get into that proximity and hold that proximity. That is a point where I'm using it to neutralize, but generally I'm using it to close the gap because I'm close enough that I can do so. In this situation, we're gonna treat it like a real battle and we'll try to show and illustrate some of the main points that are important. Gonna neutralize here, get close, keep him close. Right here, boost tap, neutralize again, boost tap, neutralize, keep him right in front of my face, boost tap. Get back on three gen, boost tap, neutralize, down strafe, left tap. Right strafe to neutralize, apply damage, just trade here. I'm not even gonna try to evade. Down strafe to maintain this. And then here, boost, maintain to do some damage. Make sure not to waste your shots. As you can see, because I'm boosting and going into him, his shots are not as effective as mine. Neutralize it, keep it steady. Don't need to evade, just apply damage. When you have a huge lead, just apply the damage. Get close, neutralize, boost it, and splash. Swapping his shields to absorb a lot of damage, or a bit of damage, on the first initial pass. Once those shields are gone, or on the first pass, I'm back to guns for the reload, and I'm gonna focus on boost management. Great trade there. Quick tap of the boost to get around. Trying to get my shield here, hold it close. He was able to pop the shot, that was perfect. Here I can get shields, I got more than enough time. Now I'm gonna back strafe and get back in the nose. Reset the fight, get my boost back. Again, I'm neutralizing as much as I can here, keep it close to his ship. A Little bit of boost here to tap on the side, get around them, neutralize it, push in close, do some damage, quick tap to get to the side. Another quick tap to get to the other side. Reverse strafe here to hold him. Now we're gonna do a sustain here with some boost. And now we're out of shots, we're gonna back out here. Get some boost back, do some more damage. He did a good job of staying close. Boost to the right to get away from his firing arm. Get some quick close in. Now I'm gonna try to clinch him just to get some boost back because I'm really low. We gotta go back to your center here. Push through, get away from him. Do some damage here. Back to the energy on the guns. Do a little bit of damage. You see my pip kind of evade and move around still while I'm applying damage by either using up or right strafe. Get back on the energy here for the guns. Back to boost. As soon as he gets his nose, I'm gonna left dip. Now I'm gonna right dip. Now I'm gonna hit him with a top loop. Get back under him. As soon as he turns on me, I'm gonna push to the right. Neutralize that pip. I'm gonna get my shield up since he's wasting time evading. And back to damage. Pulled away there a little bit to get some damage. Back on the guns here. Back energy to guns, back to boost. Quick tap, quick tap. Another, and splash. Make sure to comment down below anything that you would like to learn on the next video. And don't forget to check out my playlist for more guides and tutorials on Star Citizen Combat. As always, thank you for the support, and I'll catch you guys on the next one.